Now, assuming you want to take or uh, submit TMA or submit your assignment for GST 104, what do you do? You open this menu from here, just open it and then pick the course GST 104. You can pick it from here or directly from your dashboard. Anyhow, you do it, it will still work for you. Here is still a tool that would want to. Uh, take you around and explain some things for you but if you don't need it you can just go away which I don't have the time right now I can close it from here or here and to and it will disappear um, you see cost induction here you will need to learn some things you you are expected to open these links touch them one after the other to read the contents there are a lot of things in there you know for you to learn uh, from uh, previous classes GST holds classes you can join them online these online classes videos from uh, previous classes you can open it from here to watch it will teach you more all is about this particular course just this 104 previous uh, lessons on this 104 and these modules these are your course materials you no longer download materials directly from the official website. This is where you download them. You download and read and then prepare yourself for the, the TMA. There are instructional videos for you. Discussion forum. You are expected to uh, from time to time. You go to the forum and maybe say, ask one or two questions. You get your response immediately from fellow students. It's just a discussion forum for students. So, uh, there are more instructional videos and the second course module uh, 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 material. So it's separated into module, module one, module two. This is module two, and uh, this is still a uh, uh, discussion forum, more forums. Before, look at this. Before your TMA one can be active, you must have opened all the links. You must have gone through. You must have. You are expected to read through all these uh, links. So now you cannot take your TMA immediately. You will ha firstly have to make sure you open all the links. And let me show you how you do them. If you go down here uh, for this first one, uh, we have a uh, uh, cost induction. Let's open cost induction and see what happens. You also need to observe that there are few boxes in front of these links. There are some boxes, there are square boxes in front of them. Look at them. Look at how they are lined up here. Look at how they are lined up. So, each one you take will be ticked for you. Let's take one and see. Cost induction, you open it. Touch it. Just touch it. That's how you open it. And scroll down. Uh, there is the link. You see? Uh, click this link to open the resource to open this particular in, uh, induction so for now let's say you don't want to do that you can come here icebreaker other links are opened through here or you go back and open them look at the module one the module one is also here the module two let me open that module one icebreaker course guide that's introduction to the course the charts, the previous video classes, and all that, and module one, module two, discussion forum. They are here. You can go, you can jump from one section to another from here, or you simply go back by pressing the back button on your phone or by pressing uh, uh, this link for GST 10. Sorry, this one, GST 104. GST 104. You touch it, it takes you back again to this place. So, because you did not open that link you were told to, this box was not ticked for you. Look at this. Let me show you what I mean. Um, course guide. Let's go to course guide. This one. If you open it, course guide, it downloads the first and the material for this just one of them. There you go. Look at it. Welcome to Just 104. It, it tells you what Just 104 is all about. So let's go back. So from here.
So ordinarily, look at that. After opening the link, if you are using a, a laptop, look at what happens. Look at what happens. It will be ticked for you, showing that you've participated, you've done something about this. You've done something, you've, go, you've gone through this particular link. And so that's how it all happens. So, but in a situation uh, where you do not have much time to read them, or you already have these materials and have read them, so what you do is just touch the, the square boxes and it will be ticked for you. Touch the square boxes, you know, telling them you already have idea of what they are talking about. Uh, if you look at this one, it's a little different. Is broken uh, it has broken borders and so when you touch it it will not tick until you download the material no shortcuts do not open until you download the material so for the other ones you can simply touch them and they will be ticked you can simply touch them and they will be ticked but for the cost materials no way you will have to open them at least open them there you go so when you open that it says open this link so you open it download it fine now we know you've participated that's it so when you go back now it says go to next and then maybe let's just go back to one of first stretch so when you go there you will find out that it's already ticked look at that because you downloaded the material you click the link you are expected to it shows you are participating in the lesson so come down here and do the same tell me one is still inactive until you finish these processes 104 you download it again perfect you downloaded the module 2 there are other modules, but for the first TMA, you must download at least the first and second module. After that, look at this. TMA 1 is now active. Is now active but not ticked because you've not opened it you've not done anything there so you can now you can now touch it and it will take you to where you will see questions and you start answering questions for your TMA look at this it says you have only one attempt you touch this attempt quiz now look at your first question one mark from here one question one mark so let's go down you see your question an academic library, uh, library is dash what does that mean let's say library of academic institutions such as university polytechnic so we'll go down and we'll assume uh, uh, GST courses uh, let me tell you something interesting GST courses is very unique and very more very interesting and very simple all your questions you can see them you've just seen question one here is question two if you touch it it will open question two for you if you touch this it will open question number three you can see all your questions you can see all of them even do you may not answer them but you can see all of them at least then you can prepare your answers you can prepare your answers you work on that is a sign you, you work on them and then you come back and submit your answers so that's it you come down let's go down so let's go up uh, we'll go to the next page assuming we've answered this one when you touch the correct answer it is it is uh, it has a, a black dot at the middle if you don't if you think the answer is wrong you can touch another and move from one to another 
but now we're checking on that so we'll go to next just touch this next it will bring up another question you don't need to be going down there but either way it works next Second question says, what type of classifications stage of microfilm catalog? Let's start off. Uh, finish attempt. We'll click on finish attempt. Finish attempt. Then it shows you the status. If there's anyone you've not answered, Maybe you mistakenly skip one. It says it will tell you here unanswered, but here it says your answer has been saved for all of them. Question one to ten. So the next thing you do here is to submit all your answers to the questions. Just click submit all and finish. It will bring up another confirmation box. It says once you submit. You will no longer be able to change your answers for this attempt. You also have to click this again, submit all and finish. As to confirm what you've just done, then you wait a little and then your, ans your, your answers will be marked and you'll be given your score. The summary of previous attempts says uh, you have Nine, you should have scored nine. You scored nine, nine, or ten. No more attempts allowed. The time you took the test and it gives you some details. So, student that scored nine over ten is a brilliant student. Very brilliant. So that's how to take your TMA on, or activate your your GST portal and take your TMA. And um, from here, you can go to grades from your menu. Let me show you. If you want to view the grades of all the courses you've registered, this one we've just done is one class. Meanwhile, you have four courses here. So when you go to grades, grades here. will show you according to your courses look at this just 104 tma1 says you it's 100 percent um completed and your score is nine your grade is nine look at the, the tabulation here it says your grade is nine you've completed this uh, tma percentage and this nine that's nine nine you scored nine so that's it TMA2 is still empty. TMA3, if you've not done anything about them, two. TMA2, TMA3, nothing. So for now, you just have nine out of 30. You have nine out of 30 for now. So you need to come back when TMA2 is uploaded and continue with your lesson. So this is on uh, overview. Yeah, so user report so when you touch overview report look at what happens it's a kind of summary the course name and the grades and the grades can you see that say so for just 104 you just have nine for 105 and others you've not done anything there kind of summary of everything everything you have done so far you've achieved so far so you need to keep pushing forward so you need to go back to your dashboard and pick up another another course 105 there you go then you go continue again follow the same step the same box here, the list box. Jump to school, school. When you see 
total marked assignment one touch it attempt quiz now so that's how it works that's how it works the touch it now means you want to attempt the questions for this class the first question is already out so it continues so by now I believe you must have learned how to uh, answer your, your or to take your TMEs on your GST portal you activate by you activate your profile firstly by changing your password secondly you log in and then thirdly you take a particular course follow the instructions to, act, to activate the first TMA and then open the TMAs and then answer the questions submit you can then log out 